When you get a quota that scares you, that feeling of fear, it's called growth. Over the past decade, quota attainment has been dropping. In 2011, it was about 64%. In 2016, it was about 50%. In 2020, it's dipped below 30%. Now for 2020, everyone wants to blame COVID, but the reality is that's just an excuse. You can always find a way to make something work. Take for example, a client that we had. In 2020, they were actually able to meet and exceed all of their targets even when travel was completely restricted, most of the company was not able to function. But what we did was we put in place a contingency plan that allowed them to continue to sell and operate and do what they could do to continue to meet targets. You will always find a reason or an excuse not to do something. What you're actually paid for is to figure out how you can, not why you can't. Now, our client wasn't in an industry that was propped up by COVID. It's not Zoom or Lysol or anyone like that. Actually, this client needed to be on site with their clients in order to fulfill obligations. So if they can figure it out, why can't you? Where there's a will, there's always a way. So then the question becomes, why are so many companies having such a difficult time hitting their quota? Well, one of the reasons could be because quotas themselves are set too low. See, quotas are set based off of historical data based on what you have already hit once before, but it's derivative of poor performance. So if you've had poor performance that has allowed you to miss targets, you're only gonna reinforce that poor performance and set new lower benchmarks and lower standards to continue to prop that up. Now, if we actually increase our quota, that may force us to realize that our old strategy will only work in a previous world. We may finally come up with new strategies. Remember, Quota is just the bare minimum not to get fired. We should not be celebrating hitting quota. You need to have a goal that you are set to achieve every single month. And your goal should easily be between 20 to 30% past your quota. Again, the quota is the bare minimum not to get fired. That's to earn your keep. And if you can only muster up about half of that, something's wrong. You should always have a goal that you aim for. You don't punch at the wall, you punch through it. So that brings me to my next point. There's no goal. Everyone always misses quota because we're not trying to go through the quota. We're trying to hit the quota. And that's why we always land short of it. Everyone just puts up a quota and then crosses their fingers, hoping that they get there. They try to calculate the number of cadences or touches or contacts or whatever activities that they're going to need. They create a science project and they try and calculate and analyze numbers and data with zero interest in actually trying to understand why the client bought. Why will the client buy? There's no angle. They don't understand that they need to approach it from a different perspective. So you need to create strategies as to why your client will buy and how everybody will have quota. It's not just about numbers. Now the third reason why everyone's missing quota is because the sales team's focus has been shifted to things that they cannot control. It's all about work-life balance, about their mental health, it boils down to diversity and inclusion. They talk about everything except for actually how and why they will hit their number. Now, don't get me wrong, all of these things are important. There's no reputable study or data that states that this is being disproportionately attacked on a sales team more so than any other part of the organization. So why is sales under attack? We're blowing problems well out of proportion. Things can always be better, but when we act like something is the end of the world when it's not, that's when we become distracted. It takes our focus away from creating a positive, growth-minded organization that's focused at the goals at hand. And so, as a result, people don't improve, they enter into this downward spiral of regression, they don't level up, there's no skill set improvement, and thus, quotas are missed. We've stopped focusing on what's needed in order to grow. And we've created entitlement, which is hurting the growth of our team. Intensity is needed. It's not toxic. You can never enter a competition without limbering up first, getting warm, getting loose. That's how a high functioning team operates. You need that level of intensity. So in conclusion, remember, it's the sales leader's responsibility, not only to ensure that the revenue target is hit, but also ensure that every single team member is contributing to that revenue target. That means creating strategies, providing support, training the sales reps 
to ensure that every single person hits their quotas. Every salesperson cannot hit their targets. That means the sales leader is failing them at some capacity.